What's up, YouTube? It's Tuesday, November 14th, and we're here in the garage uh, working on the 68 Camaro. Um, just wanted to do an unboxing video for the Phytech Fuel Command Center. Um, just to give you an update of what's been going on, uh, briefly, we got the right stuff detailing pre band fuel lines in. Uh, I'll probably do a review video coming on that, but that is definitely a more than one person job. It took me three hours, one person, but also how to remove headers, subframe connectors, and whatnot. I uh, got my Summit brand fuel pump in. I just had to get some fittings here so I can get them going the proper ways. Uh, and watch out for the, you know, make sure I didn't have any interference for cross member. Uh, trying to decide where I'm going to put this command center. I thought about maybe right here, maybe making a bracket so it's upright. Um, I've seen some guys tuck it in back, you know, this way, just battery tray. I'm thinking over there by where the horn relay is on these first gen Camaros. Uh, I can't see the camera, so hopefully I got this. Maybe if I can relocate this horn relay over to here. And I got this whole open area right here. On the, on the course board. So uh, these wires are hanging down. They'll be, I got these zip tie clips, they'll get up and out of the way for appearance. But uh, let's get on with the show. I uh, bought this from Speedway Motors. Uh, it's the same price pretty much everywhere. Uh, I didn't get it from Summit because I'd had to pay tax on $400. And I didn't want to do that. I uh, had a whole bunch of eBay birthday gift certificates. And uh, that's what I used to pay for most of this. So uh, here we go. Um, this box, uh, it's unlike the um, fuel injection one, was not sealed. Ooh, so I'm trying to do this with the camera. Really probably should use a tripod. So you see there's no seal on this box, but this part over there has that's the only one they offer. There we go. Of course, uh, instructions. The big red text about venting in, which is really a return line. So we're going to plumb that in. Uh, I saw Turbo Camaro. Guy with Ian, I think it's a Canadian guy up in uh, Canada. He's got an inline six Camaro with uh, Phytec. Or no, actually, I think he has Sniper. But uh, either way, he had run his vent. I think he did it to the fuel filler tube. So I'm going to try that first. If not, I'm going to do it through the uh, fuel level sending unit. Instructions, protective packaging. So, is that that 5P 6 made by AeroQuip? Stuff is thick and textured. The mounting brackets, those are hefty. I thought those were really, I think they are actually beefy. Thick gauge stuff right there. I thought it'd be glass, not cheap pot metal. That's all that's in that slot. So next slot we will go to would be the the filter that goes between the command center and throttle body unit. It says washable, 30 microns, I believe. Dash six on both sides. Uh, dash six pushos barb. Uh, 45. A 90, same thing, these are all dash six push. Another 90, so that's two 90 degree push sixes. Another straight, that's two straights. Three straights. Miscellaneous hardware looks like for the bracketry. Ooh, a couple hose clamps. Probably for the inlet side. All right, so let's see here. Look at that. First thing, must use vented gas cap. Vent must be vented to back to gas tank. I mean, they are really worried about that. So I'm going to set you down here. 
just a second so I can get this out because it is in tight. No movement. That's good though. I didn't want that to be damaged. So uh, hold on just one second. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, the big E. I fight it. Has a preformed slot right there, multi-dimensional. Uh, five thirty seconds vacuum must be ported to back engine vacuum. I think that's they said that's only like if you run a turbo or a power adder. Um, I don't believe I had to have that. Oh, that's a fuel pressure regulator. Uh, vent output input. Those are sixes. Uh, Fitech said you could actually change this out if you wanted to do AN fittings all the way across the board. Uh, electrical connections, liquid filled high pressure gauge, not a liquid filled low pressure gauge though. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, it's pretty stout, pretty heavy. Um, reminds me of one of those big gulp, super big gulp cups you get from the corner store. Uh, but I'm thinking, maybe right about here. How that do? Yeah, because I think the fender well. I just don't think that's gonna work. Clearance, and suspension. Yeah, I just don't think it'll look right. I think it'll look better up here. So, but anyways, YouTube. That is the unboxing for the Fitech Fuel Command Center, part number four zero 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 three. It's 40,003. Again, I bought this from Speedway Motors for about 400. It's like 395, 398, 397. Um, but they're the same price Summit Jack, Speedway Motors, eBay, all those other vendors. Uh, so until next time, YouTube, uh, I'll probably do an update video Wednesday, which is tomorrow, which will encompass everything that we've done so far. Uh, other than that, uh, have a good one. Until next time.